Okay, I'm logging in as a normal user and I will go into the product launch site and the document library. Let's create a new folder, just call it version test. And let's let's put a file in this folder, Word document, which just says this is a test document. I'll just drag it and drop it from Finder into the folder that I just created. And now you can see it's version 1.0. So you can see it in the list of documents. You can see it at the top where it says 1.0. And then at the bottom, you can see a list of all the version, the versions of that document, and it says 1.0. So one way to give it a new version is to simply upload a new version uh, from your machine. So let's make a quick um, change to that test document. So we'll make a change and upload it as a new version. Click Upload New Version. Select the file. And I can give it a comment if I want to. We'll just say that this is a, a minor change. Click Upload. And now this is version 1.1. Since it's a minor change, it's version 1.1. You can see the new text in the uh, in the preview for the document. And if we look at the version history, we can see 1.0 and we can see the new version 1.1 as well as the comment that I uh, that I typed when I checked it in. Now the problem with that is that um, we may want to lock the document so that no one else can make changes while we're working on it. So that was a quick change. Um, but what if we wanted to work on it for a while? So to do that, I'll click Edit Offline and it will download a copy of that document to my local machine. So I'll just launch that in Word and we could be making changes to this document. Now instead of making the changes right now, I want to show you that if I log out of my Jeff Potts user and log in as TUser1, if we navigate into that site and go to the version test folder, we see the document is locked. And if we try to make changes, we can't make changes. The only thing we can do is start a workflow, manage the permissions, download the document, etc. So we can't make changes while someone else has the document checked out. So let's go ahead and now back as our Jeff Potts user working locally we'll make a change to the working copy of the document. And now we can log back in as JPOTS and check in the modified version of the working copy. Still locked for editing. I'm just going to click Upload New Version. Go find the working copy, which the browser put in my downloads folder. Give it a check-in comment and click upload. Now this is version 1.2. Started off with 1.0. We made a change by uploading a new version, which was 1.1, and now we have checked out the document, made a change, and checked it back in, and now it's version 1.2. So a new version will be created no matter how you edit that document. So if you edit it through WebDAV, uh, a new version would be created. Or in this case, let's edit it in Google Docs. So I'll make a change in Google Docs. But this time, just for fun, we'll say it's a major change. And we save back to Alfresco. And because we said it was a major change, now we have created version 2.0. You can zoom in and see the change came in from Google Docs. And we can see the 2.0 in the version history. 
Now, the cool thing about a version history is you can always undo everything that you've done. What if we wanted to go back to the original document? I'll just click revert and we could revert this as a major version and say let's go back to the original. Now it's reverting and if I scroll up and refresh here you'll see that we're back to the 1.0 version of the document.